Rock on, people. Um, I had intended to um, shoot some video footage of locations in Sheffield where the film Threads was uh, shot, but bloody Val Vlad bloody Putin decided to escalate the situation in the Ukraine, which complicates things for me. Bastard. Um, so I've had to change my schedule. I didn't have time to um, get round and shoot uh, the video. Hmm, whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the following clips. Okay, I'm right at the bottom of the moor now. This is the other side of the Moorfoot building, also known as the Cowpat. This sculpture feature here used to be a fountain. And I've got a guilty secret. Back in the uh, day when I used to go caving, I chucked a load of green fluorescent dye in this thing. <laughs> and that's another view up the moor. This isn't the Threads location, I just thought I'd throw it in. This is not a Threads location either, unless you call Sheffield a Threads location. I'm stood at the St Mary's Gate roundabout. That's St Mary's Church. And I actually live just up there, and I've doxed myself. It's raining, as usual. I hope. Yeah, this is not a Threads video either. I'm round the back of the cheese grater. And that's the other side of the Winter Gardens. And I'm going down there on my way to work. I hope. Okay, this is my favourite building in Sheffield. An electricity substation. I like brutalist architecture. This city needs less trees and more concrete. I hope. Yeah, that's definitely my kind of building. More construction. Wobbly vision, wobbly vision. I'm round right back of the uh, GPO post sorting office at Pond Street. And that's the back of Pond's Forge. That's Aspect Court where I started my career in the home office back in the day. I think it's gone back to the Polytechnic now. The GPO van coming out. Oh yes, this is very wobbly. 
I'm heading to the bottom of Dixon Lane. Baker's Hill, that used to be the back of Barclays Bank. That's Ponds Forge Swimming Centre. Yeah, Baker's Hill, that's where old drunk's gonna take a piss. I have a professional interest in car parks. Having to clean them out. <laughs> now then, we've got a choice. I can go that way or that way. I think I'll go that way. Into the arches. There used to be a pub there called the Barra Boys back in the day. There's a little hole in the wall there. And there's a pub coming up on corner there, Dixon Lane, bottom of the lane, north of Combs. Yeah, these are random views of Sheffield tourists never get to see. <laughs> the grotty bits. And as usual, it's raining. It's raining, raining in my heart. That used to be a Woolworths, it's a Wilco's now. And here we are. Norfolk Arms pub at the bottom of the lane. Den of iniquity. Opens early. This is Dixon Lane and there's a sandwich shop there. There, where I'm heading to get a bacon butty. Bacon and egg, probably. Kings, very, very good sandwich shop. And on that note, people, I'll leave you because I need my bacon. More random Sheffield. That's the Midland Station. And that's some ludicrous stainless steel wall of doom. Normally has water coming down it. Park Hill Flats up there. Showroom Cinema. And another view of the hubs. The Sheffield Hallam Student Union. That's the Howard Street Hotel. Sheffield University Caving Club used to meet there back in the 1980s. Ah, oh, it's raining. So I'm going to put my phone in my pocket. Yeah, this is less wobbly because I'm recording it on my mobile and not my action camera. St Paul's Tower and Sheffield Allen University. Now behind that is the physics building on the ninth floor <laughs> where I did my uh, Master of Philosophy. Yeah, not a lot of people know that but I'm a Master of Philosophy. Up there on top of that hill is the cholera grounds and the cholera monument. I may go in there one day. Over there is Norfolk Park Student Village. And I'm getting wet. Yeah, I thought I'd just give you another look up the River Porter. The floodwaters have gone down a bit. 
Up there is near Mary Street, which is where I'll be heading home. Uh -oh. This is not a friend's location either. This is a chrome panda eating bamboo. vision and wind noise and we're approaching a bigger chrome panda let's see if we can look up its nose it's a chrome panda Chinese in Sheffield. I'm not sure if they eat panda though. <laughs> hey hey. Looks like the panda's got a friend. Some kind of antlered beast. Well, I hope you enjoyed that jaunt through Sheffield in the rain. The stuff wasn't what I planned. But these things happen. Yeah. Thank you, Vladimir Putin, for complicating my bloody existence, you great steaming bag of shite. And on that note, people... Take care and see you in the next one. Assume we don't have um, the Third World War for real. <laughs> Remember, duck and what is it? Duck and survive. <laughs>